Hello everyone, welcome to this short set of introductory videos for UniClass delivered by MBS. My name's Paul and these quick sessions will help you get started with the classification and learn more about it. Questions I often hear include what is UniClass, what are all the different tables for, what's the difference between cores and UniClass and why do the codes look the way they do. Hopefully I can help answer some of these questions and point you in the right direction for more information. My aim here is to keep these videos at a high level as a quick introduction. There are plenty of resources, other guidance and articles at the mbs.com forward slash uniclass to give you more in-depth content. These four videos on understanding uniclass, exploring it, moving to uniclass and using it will give you the firm foundation you need to understand uniclass for asset management purposes, classifying parts of the built environment, managing information types or structuring specifications. Don't be daunted by UniClass, MBS is here to help you navigate it. Even if you're already a user of UniClass, I hope you'll find each session useful, perhaps to help you explain it to your teams with some simple analogies. So I mentioned some of the queries I hear regularly, that the codes look complicated, or that there's lots of tables to get your head around, and we'll get to those soon. This first session is to try and understand what classification is, what UniClass is for, and what makes it ideal for asset management and the whole life cycle of the built environment. Uniclass can be used by anyone across the entire built environment. Perhaps you're an asset manager cataloging an estate, infrastructure assets, or a whole portfolio of buildings with Uniclass codes. Maybe you're a supplier of construction products who needs to provide codes against your products, or an information manager wanting to know what each of the tables in Uniclass can be used for in ISO 19650 processes. Maybe you're producing a Uniclass specification for the first time, or a contractor trying to find things in one you've received, or a CAD technician wanting to classify the layers in your project with a consistent structure and embed your model objects with Uniclass properties to annotate outputs. Uniclass is ideal for all of these applications. Uniclass is a unified classification system for the built environment, covering all sectors and all roles delivered by MBS. It's a way to organize everything required for built environment assets and provide a logical code for each general item, which can be used by anyone to identify and refer to it. Uniclass is used in MBS platforms, but Uniclass itself expands far beyond buildings and places into complete asset management, infrastructure and civil engineering, and data management processes. So before we get further into Uniclass, I've just said that Uniclass is a unified classification system. Let's look at what classification is for. Classification is a means of structuring information, which makes it easier to search, find, and share that data. And there are all kinds of industries that use classifications. You've probably heard two word Latin names given to plants and animals called Linnaean or binomial classification to classify the difference between one thing and another thing. Homo sapiens, Tyrannosaurus rex, or in this case a wolf, Canis lupus, as opposed to its descendant, a friendly domestic dog. Those species can not only be grouped together, but then considered as part of a hierarchy, which you can imagine as a ladder or triangle of small things which are part of larger groups, which are part of larger groups and so on. Humans have wanted to classify the natural world for hundreds of years, and this tree of life concept for organising all of the flora and fauna on Earth has existed since the 1800s. Another good example is the classification that libraries use to arrange books and media systematically, both to order items on a shelf, but also to make it easier to find the subject and information that you're looking for. In classification like this, an item can only live in one place. In these classifications, there tends to be an institution or organization which moderates the hierarchy and makes sure everything has a home so when new items come along, there's agreement on where they should live. That's true for library classification, scientific measurement units, zoological naming, and it's true for Uniclass as well. Classification tends to be quite logical. Think about a supermarket. They're pretty good at organizing things that share common features, Things that are the same or similar are grouped together to make it easier to find what you need. Although sometimes difficult if you visit a new one or things get moved around, most of the time you can find the bakery, the fruit, the frozen goods, the vegan items, and so on. 
and there's normally aisle numbers and plain language signs with clear names to direct you. You don't need to know how the supermarket determines their classification, you just want to find the things you're after. A construction supplier or builder's merchant is similar to this. But as well as drills and fixings and paint cans, imagine literally every single system and product required by the entire built environment from concept to completion. For marine, nuclear, aeronautical, forestry, water treatment, and those assets in use, their maintenance and demolition. How would you begin to organize all of those items? You need a classification, the principle of arranging and grouping those things according to their type in a way that makes sense, based on a standard method and set of rules that identify and logically arrange lots of things. So above systems and products, there would then be classifications for the complexes, entities, elements, and spaces and locations that appear in the built environment. From botanic gardens, to rail corridors, to towers, loading docks to pylons, turbines to bricks. It's an amazing and vast resource. The name Uniclass expresses that it's a unified classification, suitable for everybody involved in the built environment and the whole life cycle of buildings, landscape features and infrastructure assets which can all be classified using a consistent approach and with the scope to expand for any future industry needs. Consistency is the key there. No matter what role you have in the built environment, no matter if you're working with existing assets, building estates or new build infrastructure projects, you can use Uniclass. It's one unified classification structure for every sector and for whatever stage of the asset lifecycle you're currently involved in operations, design, construction, or reuse. The built environment is vast. Uniclass is a classification that can handle complex engineering networks, portfolio of linked assets of all kinds, and the future of the built environment too. It's not just for specifiers and design teams, although it's ideal for those applications. It's made for any stage of the asset lifecycle. For example, infrastructure managers or asset owners may be using Uniclass to classify an existing network of buildings, bridges, waterways or tunnels and assign everything a consistent reference, no matter what the current stage of planning. Design teams of engineers and architects might use Uniclass to structure specifications and modelling software to associate objects with a Uniclass reference and annotate drawing outputs. It can be applied anywhere in the world. It's made to accommodate classifications like seismic considerations or termite management that are specifically relevant to certain places in the world or certain sectors or types of infrastructure and engineering and it will expand to meet the needs of those changing industries. So Uniclass is created and developed to support everyone, the whole of the built environment. Uniclass provides tables for everything you can think of, the entire built environment. It's for the holistic life cycle of assets. That's every stage in the life cycle of a bridge, a rail corridor, or an outdoor swimming pool. It's for your work. It should fit every sector and every role, and it aligns with other standards. It's for everyone. Uniclass uses simple terminology wherever possible and a database of synonyms to make searching easy. And it's for the future. Codes that are flexible enough to accommodate new materials, new processes, new asset types and new users as the industry continues to evolve. And that's an important distinction too. Uniclass is already over 14,000 classifications strong. So any question that it's something you can learn by heart or even need to is no longer relevant. That's why we've created tools to help you navigate, browse and search the classifications that you need. And that's what's up next in fact. In session two, we'll look at the Uniclass web tool and how to search, browse, and download Uniclass tables. Join me for the next video.